Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode in our new series, which is First Impressions. So this is art supplies as I get them. I'm going to um, just have a play with them so that you can see what I think. So everybody and their dog, as far as I can remember in the colouring world, has always said how good Sakura jelly rolls are. Now they are a more expensive gel pen. And I don't really like anything other than glitters. So I did buy a set of Sakura Jelly Roll. I got the 24 set um, with Stardust Glitter, Metallic Shine and Moonlight Fluorescent. So there's 24 in here. I think they were 25 99 So they aren't the cheap, they aren't a cheap brand. So I will only be using these after this demonstration and what I think of them for highlights on pictures and things like that they're not going to be I'm not going to sit there and cover a whole picture with them they're far too expensive so first of all the packaging is very very nice I have opened it up it's all the information shows you what uh, they write like and um, yeah so we've got uh, 11 12 glitter ones six metallic and six fluorescent well one's white so so I've got the book um a book here it's the one we were using in the first episode which is this book the Celtic Kellerman book I got this from Amazon if you're interested so that's the the picture we did with the Arteza ones so we're going to start on this bell um we'll do a, a, a bit of glitter we'll do a bit of fluorescent and we'll do a bit of the metallic so um, actually no, we'll start up here for the glitter and we'll do this one with glitter and we'll do the bell with the metallics and then we'll do the fluorescence on something else. So these ones, I have no idea how I'm going to keep them because I don't want to really take them out and put them in the bag I normally do. First of all, the pens feel really nice to hold. So I'm going to, again, as I did before, the top bit, I'm just going to do it with the gold. I've never used these before. This is the first time I've bought them. So this is really me using them for the first time. That's a very lovely gold, goldy yellow. It's very, very smooth. Flows very easily. There's no scratchiness at all. There's not a scratchy spot feel to this pen at all it is absolutely stunning wow i can see why people love these pens i really really can this is just going down so beautiful and you can see why they are the price they are oh my god this is amazing wow i really can see why people love these and i might have to collect some more does anybody know out there, anybody out there know how many colours there are in the Jelly Roll collection? Because I would like to know. I really love the glitter ones. I know you can buy the Stardust ones separately. You don't have to buy them in the... Like I've bought. I just wanted to try um, a, a, a good selection, which is why I bought the pot I did. So literally I'm just going to work from left to right with the colours. I don't know if they've got a, a thing in here to hold them. They do seem to clip in quite nicely. So I'm literally not worried about how, how this looks. I just want to see how they feel. Like I said, the pen's a very nice feeling in the hand. Very, very nice. And oh, there's just no scratching at all. This is just so nice. It lays down so beautifully. Oh, I think I'm in love. Like I said, I love my Link Shines, which were a cheap brand. But those go, that just feels absolutely amazing. It really does. There's just something about the way it feels when you put it down. I just can't explain it. It's just so smooth oh that red oh I'm in love that red is beautiful yeah I totally get why people 
go on about how amazing these pens are because they really, really are lovely. There is no scratching at all with these glitter pens. Now, I don't know what the others are going to be like. I'm hoping they are going to be the same and there's going to be no scratching. I did miss a bit at the top, which I'll go back and do now. But, oh, they feel so... Yeah. Oh, It's going to take a while, this one, I think, because... I'm really enjoying the way it feels. I do understand that you can get refills for these, I believe. I don't know. I would hope so, because it feels beautifully in the hand, you know. I know I've probably missed bits because I'm I'm very high above it. I like to get close up when I'm glittering to make sure that I fill in all the gaps, but I'm not worrying about that at the moment because this is just a, to see how I feel about them and oh. They're amazing, aren't they? I can really see why people like these pens. I'm not gonna lie, I can. I completely get it. I do get it. I'm I'm in love with these. They just they're just so juicy and gorgeous. Look, look at that. It's, I mean, I'm probably not going to do the whole thing, but I'm going to use all of the colours, so. I mean, like I've said, they're not the cheapest pens. You know, at 25 quid for 24. Or 26 quid for 24, just over a pound a piece. But I can totally see why people like them and I would love to know what other colours are now this is not coming out now but that's okay this does happen occasionally with pens so it'll be a sec get my notepad I've got a notepad here for just scribbling on if the ink and it's fine again now I always find that sometimes ink if ink doesn't come out it's because sometimes the pens are cold and I don't shake the pens up and down, but what I do is I'll show you what I do. Is with the top of the pen, so it's like that. I put the pen in my hand like that and I just go like that and it warms it up and the ink starts flowing and it does work because it just did then. So right, we're just working our way through the glitter ones. I'm popping them pretty much back in order because they're a bit mixed up, I think. Um, but I'm still just going through them to see. And I am very impressed with them. Very, very impressed with these. They are just stunning. I mean, I'm literally just taking them out and using them in the order they come out of the, the, the pack. Just so you can see. Now look at how sparkly that is. Yes I can see that there are gaps I've missed and it's because when I'm looking at it the light above me is shining directly on it and I don't really want to get my head in but I can always fill that in later before I uh, show you the finished section and that's why I'm putting them back in as I get them out if you know what I mean so it's you but oh these are beautiful colours It's a little bit harder filming in the bedroom, I will say, but it's it is better. Uh, it's harder, but it's better. So let's try this one. I've got to say that I'm impressed with these. I am very impressed, but uh, due to the price, like I said, they'll be used for something special. But what? I don't know yet. I'm putting them back in nicely. We're just going to use to do this uh, a cross stripe because it goes into the thing. They are the smoothest, 
glitter pens I've ever used. The colours and sparkle is amazing. I think I'm in love. I see again that one's is stopped. So I'm gonna do my whole I'm not shaking it, I'm just rolling it between my fingers, my hands, and there you go, it's coming out perfectly. Again, look at that. So I said I can see some big gaps now um, where I've missed it, but I'll fill those in in a bit. And it's literally just because you can see it, it's the way the light's shining on it. So obviously if I was colouring properly, we wouldn't be having those little lines and I will go over it all once I've actually shown you all these colours before we go on to the metallics. I'll switch the camera off and I'll go back over the bits I've missed so but I'm very impressed with the colours you know there's a good selection of pinks there's two pinks there's a gorgeous red the yellow gold is beautiful there's three blues there's I think there's three greens or something like that yes and a silver two greens and a silver it's beautiful beautiful colours so Oh, look at that green. Isn't that a beautiful colour? That is stunning. So again, go, it's going on very smoothly. It's very nice. I'm just filling in these bits so I can get a good bit of colour down. Like I said, I've never used these before. And I was reading the reviews and while they get good reviews generally there are a few people who said oh that the pens didn't work or they had a bad batch or or something but um <clears throat> so far so brilliantly oh look at color is gorgeous and like i said i will go back over them in a minute so i'm not too worried about that so we've, uh, we've nearly finished now we've got the two more to go we've got a, another green and the silver so as I said, I am not worrying. Oh, that is my favourite shade of green. That is my favourite, absolute favourite shade of green. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Wow. I can't get over how beautiful these colours are. Sorry if you can hear Paul. He's very loud chatting on his Zoom meeting. He does this, he meets his friends on Zoom at the moment, seems he can't get together in a pub because the pubs aren't still open in Wales, so. Absolutely gorgeous this is. This is a stunning set. I am blown away. The only thing I would say is there's no black, black glitter in this set which is okay because I don't use a lot of black anyway but you know I, I do like to have that option if I wanted to do a background or some lines or something with them and silver is the last one but so far I am very very impressed I said I'm not going to finish this bauble I'm just going to in a second stop the camera go over the bits where I've missed bits because I can see lots and then I'll show you this section and then we'll use the metallics on the bell and the fluorescence on something else but oh look at those and then I'll finish them off myself later and you'll see it in a completed pictures at some point when I've it. so that's it so far I'll go and fill in the gaps because I know there's some big gaps as you can see that like the purple and the blue if you want the green and then I'll be back to show you that although I'm not going to I'm not going to do this bit I might do that with the fluorescence actually I think that's a good idea and then uh, the bell with the metallic so I'll be back in a minute to to do the next section okay so there we are that's the glitter part I've just gone over it a bit I haven't filled it all in but I filled in some of the really big ominous gaps I think they're beautiful I think it's the best silver I've seen and that green is stunning 
very impressed so far. So now we're going to do some of the bell. We won't be doing it all with the um, metallics. So there's only one, two, three, six of those. Uh, yellow, red, purple, blue, green and silver. Don't know if there's any more of these. Let's see, so we'll we'll just start with the gold. We're going to do the inside of it. Oh, that goes on very well. Again, it's not scratchy at all. It looks metallic gold. Quite like that. I don't know how well you can see that, but... Now, this is beautiful. And they do say, it does go to show that you get what you pay for. Because like I said, I do find that other than glitter pens, gel pens can be very scratchy. Glitters, I don't get many scratchy pens, but uh, the metallics and the fluorescence and the pastels can be very, very scratchy which is why I don't use them which is a shame because judging by these the Sakura ones this is what a gel pen should be like and like I said this is just a quick first impressions so I'm not worrying about making sure all the gaps are filled I can do that when I actually finish the picture off but oh my god, that feels, it just, it just oozes onto the page. It's beautiful. So we'll get the red. And like I said, because these are more pricey, I won't be doing whole pictures with them. What I will do with these is I will use these for special things like um, highlights or when I want to add a bit of metallic to a, a Christmas picture or some glitter to a Christmas picture. This is the red and I'm not very keen on metallics normally but this isn't actually too bad. I said I will finish these um, off. I always usually find that the red is very dark and this is more of a pinky red so it's actually quite nice <laughs> but again there's, it's not scratchy you can hear the pen on the paper but it doesn't feel scratchy at all it just feels like it's gliding across the, the paper like I said, I'm not worried about filling all the gaps, but if you're making um, like cards and or you're journaling, um, these would be perfect. They're so beautiful. They feel amazing. I am not going to lie. I really like the feel of these. So we'll do this top bit with the purple. That is very metallic. It's almost like paint. It almost feels like a, a metallic um, acrylic paint almost. It's just so nice. It feels wonderful. Yes, I've got gaps and I can see them. But it's just, oh my God, these pens are beautiful. You know, I've always put off buying them because of the cost, because, you know, everybody, we're on a budget. I mean, I'm lucky. I'm still working full time. Well, part time. I work part time, but I'm still working. I'm not, I'm not furloughed. I'm not, not getting paid. I am getting money. Oh, look at that metallic blue. That is what metallic should look like. That is stunning. Look at it, I've got to do a bit more with this blue, it's just beautiful. Look at it. That blue is the most gorgeous metallic blue I've ever seen. In my life. Wow, look at that. Can you see how gorgeous that blue is? Are you all the way, are we all the way down? We are unfortunately. That is a stunning colour. It's this, these 
colours have really blown my mind. They've absolutely blown my mind. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. So green now. We're going to do these bits in here. That is beautiful. I'm very, very impressed with these. Very impressed. Wow. And who knows? I mean, I can't see me using these. I want to use them all the time. I, I can tell you that now. I, the feel of them is so nice. But replacing them is going to be something I'm not going to be able to afford to do very often. So I will still use my cheap gel pens for um, my general pictures and then for um, something, you know, when I'm doing a, a, something like um, Hannah Carlson or Johanna's Christmas and I want to add a bit of glitter to something, I will use these. Last one is the Silver Metallic. So they are very, very, very shiny. I am not lying. And I'm just going to do this little bit at the top um, in with the purple there. And yeah, again, there's no scratching on this silver. This silver is perfect. It is absolutely stunning. Now, I know I haven't done much with the silver, but oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could do this line here. Again, like with the glitter silver, it covers everything. But oh, these are absolutely stunning. Colouring like this doesn't have to kill my back though. I am so impressed with these. We'll go straight on now and carry on with our other ornament, I think, using the fluorescence. So this is, these are the ones where I would start thinking, oh, it's going to be really scratchy. So we're just going to turn it this way. So it's going, I'm going to turn it upside down so that my hand's not on the wet section. And I'll uh, put that under there. And there we are. That's the bit we're doing. See? There we go. And I'm literally just pulling them out in the order they're in the pack. So yellow, orange, pink, blue, green, white. So. Oh, this is beautiful. Again, there is no scratching. It feels so smooth. There really is no scratching on this. It feels like silk. Now I know why everybody goes on about how amazing these pens are because they actually are as amazing as everybody has said. Oh. Now I know people have said to me, I'm not worrying about going over the lines because like I said, this is just about getting impressions of what I think. Make sure you put the caps on properly. Don't leave the caps off because they will dry out and I can see why they would dry out because they are so juicy. And I've heard people say that they do last a long time, but I suppose it depends on how much you use them and what you use them for. So, I do believe in the States you can buy these open stock. But we're in the UK and we're treated shockingly. <laughs> not, but we don't get good stuff like that. So that's the yellow and orange. And at the moment I am loving these. Not so much if I keep dropping the book on the floor. I do apologise for that. So I hope I haven't smudged it. Anyway, yeah, it's a problem with the way I'm sitting, unfortunately. I'll put my head. Yeah, you can see there's some gaps. I can see them. That's just because I've got the light shining above me and they are so wet and juicy. I can't tell whether it's a gap in the ink or it's the shining from the light. That's how beautiful these colours are. So they do go on very nice, very smoothly. They're a pleasure to use. Not like the cheap gel pens. And it's true. You, you, you pay for what you get. You get what you pay for. It's definitely the truth. I never knew gel pens could be as nice as this. And you can see how much ink is in them. They're really thick cores. The tube of ink is really thick. Yep, that's the orange. I'm just going to move the pad so it doesn't fall off again. And 
gonna grab the pink. I am in love with these. Um, yeah, these are very, very nice. And I don't normally use fluorescents, but when you're doing something like an 80s picture, fluorescents were very big in the 80s. Same as they were neons in the 50s, like for the neon lights. This is the sort of thing I would use these for. This is, oh, they are absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna have just enough spaces to use every color, even though one of them's white. So I <laughs> don't know what that's gonna look like, but we'll find out. So let's do this one. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. Again, there's no scratchiness. It's just like laying down silk on a piece of paper. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning colours. They're not horrific. Like sometimes with gel pens you might um, lay down a colour and it's supposed to be pink and it just looks muddy and horrible. There's none of that nonsense here. These are beautiful. So I do believe they do normal not just the, I say normal colours, not the shinies, not the metallics, you know, not the fluorescents. So uh, it would be worth trying to find some of those. It's just there's so much, op so many options on Amazon, it's hard to know what to pick. So we're on to the green now. Oh wow, that is nice. Yeah, I'm liking. Again, it's laying down beautifully, no issue at all with that. It's a lovely shade. I wouldn't say it was a particularly fluorescent green, but it's a nice green. Excuse me sniffling. Wow, this is lovely. I might have to sit on the floor and colour later. Another drink as well after this one. There we go. Green. So yeah, there's going to be gaps in it because I'm just doing this quickly because this has been long enough as it is. Even this section is like 12 minutes. It's going to be like a 30 or 40 minute video. Again, that's that. And the only colour that I haven't used, and I have missed lots in this green one, I will admit, is the white. Uh, I don't know what that's going to look like because white's, well, white. Beautiful though. So let's see. Oh, yeah, it definitely goes on nice. We can see that it's covering up the white. Yeah, you can see it's on there. He's got a loud laugh, is Paul. That is absolutely... Obviously, I'm not going to worry about the white too much because, yeah, let's move them a bit of the green around, but that's okay. Right, so that is the Secura Jelly Roll. That's the glitter ones and the fluorescents. And then on the bell, we've got the metallics. As you can see, it's not completely finished. I can see lots of gaps in this gold now. But that's okay, it was just to show you what I think. Yeah, there's a lot of gaps there. I will, when I finish the picture, which I will do with them, I'll, I'll go over it all and make sure it's all nice and coloured in. I'll show it to you again once I finish the last two bits, which will be next time I get some pens, I guess. But I hope you've enjoyed this video of what I think of the Sakura Jelly Roll pens. Do I recommend them? Absolutely. Um, the only thing I would say is they are expensive. They are not a cheap brand. Um, I think that they are the top of the range jelly uh, gel pens so I would recommend them like I said I bought the, the 24 pack which I really do like I like that um, and I'll leave them in there for now until I can afford another pencil case to put them in because I don't really want to mix them up with the cheaper brands so I will use them but they'll be used more on special pictures so stuff in Christmas ones for just a little but I just want a little bit of glitter or a little bit of metallic or if I'm doing a 1950s one or a 1980s one and there's um, a diner light I'll use the fluorescent pink or the fluorescent yellow 
um, and so on so that's what I would use those those for uh, but yes totally recommend them absolutely stunning I got mine from Amazon they are available there um, I don't know where else in the UK you can buy them I'm sure there must be other places but uh, let me down in the, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you've used them and what you think and I'll see you all in the next video bye guys Thank you.